Stoichiometry Made Easy, the magic number method. This is a quick shortcut method for solving stoichiometry problems. Let's start with an example. Nitrogen and hydrogen gas combine to form ammonia. First thing you got to do is balance the equation. If you don't know how to do that, see another video or ask your teacher. We're going to assume you know how to balance a chemical equation. Okay. Now let's say the problem gives you 25 grams of nitrogen and they want to know how many grams of ammonia would be produced if you have plenty of hydrogen. The magic number method goes like this. Put an X with every compound. You're halfway there. The next thing you do is out front put the molecular weight of each compound. Nitrogen is 14 grams per mole so N2 would be 28 grams per mole. Hydrogen weighs 1, so H2 would be 2 grams per mole, and ammonia would weigh 17. So put those numbers out front like you see here. Here's how it works. You simply solve for X. X is your magic number. 28X equals 25. So X equals 25 divided by 28, or port 893. That's our magic number for this problem. It'll be different for every problem that you do. Here's how you use it. You want to know about ammonia. So, 17 times 2 times x. We know x, it's 0.893. You get 30.36 grams of ammonia. What if you wanted to know the grams of hydrogen that you need instead? Do it the same way. The grams of hydrogen would be 2 times 3 times x. Put in our magic number, 5.36 grams of hydrogen. It's just that easy. Now, you don't have to just solve grams. You can do problems with moles. Just leave the green numbers out. The green numbers are specifically for grams. So let's say instead you wanted to know the moles of hydrogen that you need. Well, it'd just be 3 times x, 3 times our magic number, 2.68 moles of hydrogen needed. What about the moles of ammonia? Again, leave the green numbers out, 2x, 2 times 0.893, 1.79 moles of ammonia. You can solve any stoichiometry problem this way.